Super highly anticipated episode for me, man. Um, we got Anthony Simons on the team last episode. It was a polarizing trade. I did see the comments. Uh, I would say it was 80-20, which is, I think it's good. I think it's good that some people didn't like the trade for our team or for the other team. I think it just adds another element. Um, it's going to be his first game. And I didn't even realize that we're going to get the Knicks this week. And if you did not, oh, All-Star Draft. Let's see if we have anybody in the All-Star game. I don't believe we will. Luka and Giannis out of caps. And, oh, Evan Mobley, two-time All-Star. He ended up making it last year, I guess. Uh, yeah, obviously nobody, nobody from our team. We, we didn't expect to have an all-star this season. No car in three towns uh, after the trade or, you know, anything like that. Uh, really, no surprises. Everybody that's here has been there before. Um, we get to see Kawhi Leonard on his new team. So this is a this is definitely about to be a, mat, a, a battle. Two of the biggest trades that happened so far at this deadline, th these teams are going against each other. It's the battle of N New York, the state, not the city. So we're running Anthony at the one. Only thing I keep forgetting to do or that I have to do is give that man his arm sleeve. It's bothered me that they got this man naked arm when he's been a he's been a sleeve guy for for a little while at least. He also does the left leg um left leg thing too like that. Like that's basically that's how he's rocking it. I can't have a bunch of generic guys on my roster. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a good amount of them, but everybody can't be generic. Like, you may, maybe I should just sit down and do this for every one of my players, because I didn't even realize that 2K just overall does a bad job of making accessories be right. Mikhail's been rocking that leg sleeve since he got to Brooklyn. Um, okay, that's that's just that's a little bit too much. All right, let's get into this game against the New York Knicks. Kawhi Leonard, Julius Randle quickly, Brunton, the small backcourt for show. Um, and they also got bagged down low. Hopefully, we can take advantage of the fact that Marvin Bagley is the starting center of, of this team. Now, they are 500 team. We're one game below 500. So, um, a decent a decent little matchup here, bro. A decent little matchup. Both teams trying to figure out exactly how to use these new players. And we're at the Mecca Ball. You love to see it. Madison Square Garden. I don't, I'm going to do this right off rip. I'm not going to have our guy Mikael Bridges guarding. Who is that? Manuel Quickly. I'm going to have him guarding uh, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, because he's the best player. And he's just going to be overall the best matchup. You know, Cam is just not good enough at that aspect of the game to guard Kawhi. And immediately, the first possession is all in Kawhi's hands. He gives it up to Bagley. That's one thing we're sacrificing with that trade. And that's uh, giving up some post and interior defense with Carthony Towns back being a full-time center. If you did not remember, we also made the trade to get Jonathan Isaac on the team. So we got uh, more than just one new start in peace. Potential first attempt for Anthony Bang! Mid-range pull-up jump shot. Anthony Simons brought a blinder silver. I should have looked at this badges. He's averaging 21 points per game um, up until this point. I like this matchup against um, Jalen Brunson for sure. Uh-oh, Kawhi's trying to hit some mid-range jump shot wizardry, and he steps out of bounds. Boo! L trade! L trade! No, no. Ka Ka imagine Kawhi gets traded to New York, and a minute and a half into his New York career, they're booing him. Um, I won't put it past New York. I, that's all I'm saying. I won't put it past New York. Oh, that's a three-point jump shot, baby. Cam, bang, bottoms. Jonathan Isaac gets on the board with his first assist as, as a part of the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, not really looking at him to be an assist guy, but, I mean, he made the right play because Cam Johnson was wide open. Our offense has so much potential. Good defense right there. That, like, you're going to have to leave something open. And uh, it's more likely than not you're giving up an open three-pointer or something. I think we're going to hang our hats on being one of the most offensively overpowering teams in ball. That's that's the goal. John don't play that. John Ice don't play that. Judah don't. Judah. Oh, that's a bad call, ref. Oh, man. I thought that was so very clean. But I, I guess not. Ref thought otherwise. Ref thought otherwise. It's definitely different for me. I'm not used to having a point guard that's like a, a more than just an initiator. Usually the point guard position for me is like, Hello, Cam. Off screen, something, something. What did that? I just saw off screen and stop reading. I'm used to my point guards being the initiators, the guys that setting people up and getting assists and stuff. Not really being aggressive with it, so it's definitely gonna be a play style change up for me. Good defense. I can't believe how different this team looks compared to last year. We have Anthony Towns and and Anthony Simons on the team. We live in an fictional world, which I like. This is why it's like I've missed. I guess technically I missed one episode so far. Um, but one of the reasons why it has been so fun for me is that we're making trades and our team is looking different every five episodes or so. Like, that's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, a drop step car in town's bucket is kind of easy at this point. I ain't gonna lie. Depend and, like, with Marvin Bagley being that starting center, yeah, that's an easy bucket. And good defense, I guess. Good rebound. All right, we go. Anthony, I want to pull up three. I want to step back. 
Pull up three. Contest it. Bang! Agent three's bronze, baby. He's got the step backs. I just don't like the way his shot looks. But with real um, player percentage, I guess it doesn't matter what it looks like because I don't have to time anything. Julius Randle. Whoa, that was a Zion Williamson-esque move from J uh, Julius. We're also getting to see uh, Winyan Gabriel on the court for the first time in his Brooklyn Nets career. We'll see if he's a guy that sticks around as far as rotational pieces go. Um, Jalen Brunson just got right past because I wasn't paying attention. So this lineup has man. Okay, this is basically a... a quick platoon substitution which we don't normally do but i definitely forgot to change up my rotation so that's why we got the platoon uh next episode we won't get this league leaders and field goal percentage baby we're top three in the last 30 days them boys hitting them shots that offense definitely got an uptick once we got car anthony towns on the team i cannot lie they got bruce brown in the trade they also got tj mcconnell they have a very very small uh first one through three right now and our one to three is not larger by any means. What? No way. Jalen Brunson's strength on shooting the ball is enough to make Dayron lose his balance. And could, that's a fa okay. The foul is probably down low. I see these hands hooking, so I guess so. But that's actually in insane, Dayron. That that lets me know that you ain't been hitting the weight room as much as uh, meets the eye. I gotta somehow take advantage of the size difference we got. Man, why did he give me that? Jet, don't play that. Bro, TJ McConnell got shifty as heck, didn't he, though? Uh-huh. He's small, though. He's small. He's cook session. Actually, no. We give it up to Jet. Jet, finish this play off us, man. You got the block. You get the opportunity to play make for Terrence Mann, who's going to hit the open three, right? Bang! See, part of being a good rook is understanding when your number is called, that don't mean that you got to be the one taking the shot. I don't know why. For some reason, when the backup unit comes in, it doesn't allow Terrence Mann to run, like, real plays. Um, I mean, I can't just call it myself, I guess, but I'm just rely. Why, Jacques Vaughn, why don't you do your job when the backup unit in? Like, it, you got to coach both units, my guy. Come on, Jet, come off that screen. Nice, nice, nice. Bro, Jet is, Jet is like that, man. Jet is like that. And we, we've we hit five threes already. They ain't made one. I don't even think they've attempted one. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, yep, yeah, help. Oh, as soon as I start talking, Jalen Brunson, that's a butter. Oh, we go. Let's go, boys. We might blow these boys out in their first game with that dude. Where's Kawhi Leonard? I ain't seen him. This is the this is Jet Howard's team and Jet Howard's uh, state. This is Jet Howard's state. I just can't believe how good he is already. And and technically, uh, Grady should probably play over him because Grady was the higher pick. But Jet just have that big body. He got better defensive statistics, and he don't miss. I just you know speaking as easy as I can. He what the heck was that? He just don't miss, and that goes a long way to get PT with me. If I can rely on you to hit some open jump shots like this, I'm going to run that same play. Where you at, Jack? What was it? Uh, Quake Three Horns? I think that's what it was. This might be a money play. We run this play for Mikael Bridges. He might put up 100. We run this play for Mikael Bridges. Oh, look at TJ McConnell. Such a sore loser, TJ. I got 10 seconds. You think I can get, the, get it done in 10 seconds? Good screens, good screens, good screens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Jet! Oh, you know what's funny, though? Jet's three-point rating is not anything crazy. Uh, he's leading us in scoring in the first quarter, by the way. It's not anything crazy. It's only an 81. That's playing up. I think it's normally like a 79. But he hits him. And again, that's all I can ask. I don't care what your rating is. If I take the shot with you and I feel confident that it's going to go in more times than not, I'm going to keep taking the shots with you. I can't say the same about everybody on our team. Everybody don't have that same effect or that same uh, trust in me. And he just he just got to the league. Oh, my God. Jalen Brunson is selling three seconds. Terrence, get the ball up court. Take that leaner. Terrence at the buzzer. No good. Up by 10 in the first quarter is pretty good. 25 points in the first quarter for me is pretty good. See, Mikael Bridges has a size advantage over, um, who is that, Bruce Brown? Oh, my God, a catch and shoot, Cam Johnson. Uh, Cam Thomas opportunity, you know we're going to take those. You know we're going to take those. Like, we have a small backcourt in two right now, so I'm not tripping. Um, but in the long term, we're going to get some of the bigger teams. We probably don't want to have Anthony and Cam playing many minutes together. Rotations, though, Anthony, show the world that you can defend now that you're playing for a team. We're, we're a sub-500 team. I made this trade with, like, the idea of, oh, let's go try to win a championship eventually. Bro, we're not close. Keep running with me, Cat. Why did Cat get all slow with it? It won! He know what he's doing? He's no, he know what he... Oh, yeah. It's it's over with. The league ain't ready. The league ain't ready. The league is not ready for the... for the. Dang, we missed free throws, though. The league is not ready for this offense. And where... Where is Mr. Mr. Kawhi? He's got two points, two assists, and a turnover. I feel like he ain't been on the court in a minute. I ain't gonna lie. Am I complaining? Kind of, because I want to see 
how they run together, um, but they just can't hit shots. That's just a bad shot, quick. I can't even lie. Uh, do something with it, Isaac. John Isaac! It won! Hey, we are playing with the same sliders we've played with all series long. So don't 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 think that we went in and made no adjustment. Julius Randle's trying to fight. Oh snap! Don't think we went in and, and made no adjustments because because we did not and we missed all the free throws in this game. We're the worst free throw shooting team in, in ball. Oh my God! John Isaac is there. John Isaac is reset it. Reset it. Anthony, that's not a good shot. That's Kawhi in the garden. But guess what? The baby. Oh my God! To worm out of it and in one foul swoop get the tip dunk. Oh no. Oh, no. This might be the most fun team in basketball. We might have put together the most fun team in basketball. We got it all. We got it all around here. Now, will it translate to when we start simulating? I don't have an answer to that. Um, and John Isaac is definitely going to foul a ton. That's one thing I knew when I traded for him. He was he was going to foul. Um, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We're feeling, we're feeling so good about the way this team is playing right now. That little foul don't mean nothing. Step back. Anthony Simons created a hell of space. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I feel good about that shot, though. All right, Kawhi's finally back in the game. What is he going to do? Miss shots, but he got his own rebound. Them hands are too big. See, see, I will say Claxton is putting that on the glass, and we're going the other way. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we know we sacrificed we made that trade. Yeah, we know we did. We know we did, you know? This man moved like, he moved so old. He just moved old and stiff. Where's the fluidity, Kawhi? Where's the fluidity? Oh, it ain't nowhere because Mikhail's got it on... Kawhi Leonard is not making that pass. I don't care what none of y'all said in that conversation. Kawhi Leonard is not making that pass after getting stopped on his initial read and in a split, lickety split second throwing a lob to out of all people, Marvin Bagley. That ain't happening in real life. I can't lie. I cannot lie. I don't. Tr I ain't trust it. Um, that's not really him, but whatever. Got them hard screens. Mikael, oh, good defense. Quickly to stay attached. But guess what? Unfortunately for y'all, you got a baby in the house. Post fade. Oh, that's a good shot, Cat. I think. I don't even know what his post um, stats are. I'm assuming because he's a good center that it's high. But I, I, I can't. I can't check it. I was going to say I can't check it. Yes, I, I literally can. Post fade is almost a 90 right now. So we'll take those. We, that's a good looking shot. Just didn't fall this time around. Why are you helping off Kawhi Leonard? Thank you. Go under. Dang, I tried to go over. You, I probably should have listened. Oh, that's a bad shot. That's a bad shot. He almost hit all backboard. Um, Marvin Bagley's low key kind of nice. Didn't know what to expect from him. Nine points. He's got, I think most of them are coming off offensive rebounds in that one lob that he got. So, I mean, yeah, good game so far from bag. Keeping him in this game, really. When you Gabriel first basket as a Brooklyn Net is basically a poster on Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I'm counting it, and it should have been a foul. It, it should have been an and one. I'm calling Anthony's number right here. I'm going to start calling more a, a plays for myself because sometimes I feel like, oh, my God, that's about as open as it gets for a look. He missed it. But sometimes I feel like Coach... Jacques Vaughn runs the same plays over and over. Um, and I'm going to try my best to prevent that. We got too many talented people to be just running through one player, you know? Even if that one player might be having a good game, we still want to try to spread the wealth a little bit. Uh, so I, w I will occasionally override what Jacques Vaughn is saying and say, hey, we'd rather do this right now. Wow, what a great pass. Julius Randle. And it's no good. Julius Randle with the miss. Like, I want to I want to pick a fade between... Two of our new acquisitions. We take the mid-range jump shot, Car Anthony Towns. Bang. He got actually he's got one of the higher mid-range jump shots in all the ball. So that's uh that's pretty good. We'll, we'll take that mid-range jump shot all the time. Your favorite players, favorite players in the game. You know what we running. You know we running. W W quick three horns. W quick three horns. That's that's my Terrence Mann voice. Oh, Bruce Brown over at this time, but guess what? Jet! Oh, 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 he just no, he just tried to end all. Oh. He would have won a starting spot if he made that one. He would he bro with them would have st stole the starting spot from Cam Johnson if he would have done this move, bro. Hold on. Split the double with the spin going up on a seven footer, but, but he got mad at the rim. Shout out to Jericho Sims. That's one a, a ridiculously great block from him. But boy, that was potentially nasty. I would have started him. And I'm not even joking. He would have taken the starting spot with that make. Oh, man. Dayron, why didn't he just call for the ball? Forget that cutting, Cam. You're just bringing an extra defender down. We're going to take the easy drop step, especially if it's a six-foot guard guarding a big. We're going to take it. Call it cheese all you want. But that that's what would potentially happen in real life. If a seven-foot dude see a small dude now, Jalen Brunson's built like a fire hydrant. So it's not like he's six foot and 125, but... You know, he's still six foot at the end of the day. Six foot one, maybe two. If we being generous, he's a small guard. Their offense is atrocious right now. 
um, and we have the upper hand. Boyan Gabriel has a, a sharp shooting take, and so does Cam, and they're leaving them wide open in the corner. Get back on defense, team. What? With the take, though? I almost thought take was a guaranteed bucket, especially if it was open. Nope, guess not. I really wish he was as good as Cam is right now. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shooters are going to shoot. I'm selling. I always get takeover and just start jacking up stupid shots because I keep thinking that it's going to go in regardless. That's just a bad shot. It, he ain't even got a sharpshooter tank. He's got a rim-protecting tank, uh, which, again, I still don't understand the process behind that. There's a three for Cam. Thank you. Lemonless Reigns, bronze. We might be going into halftime. Well, we're going to halftime with a little less than a 20-point lead, which we will take 100% of the time. Five seconds to go. Three seconds to go. What are they going to do? Steal? No. Jalen Brunson. Out of the post, no good. What a what a half from the new look Brooklyn Nets. This this team looks a lot more cohesive than the the uh, Knicks do, and I think part of that is because Kawhi Leonard has not been aggressive at all in this first half. Uh, we said something similar a few episodes ago with Kay Cunningham, and then Kay Cunningham came out in the second half and s scored uh, 18 points in one quarter. So I don't want to I don't want to disrespect them. Oh, they're talking about a trade. Whoa, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that was a, a thing. Uh, either way, uh, yeah, they haven't done a great job of letting Kawhi be Kawhi. Maybe this is one of his rest days. I don't know. I ain't going to complain because we look good. We still got take opening up this quarter. Um, so that's fun. Good defense. Yeah, they're, they're – oh, it's gone. Um, their offense is so bad. Like, that, that objectively is just a really bad possession. And I guess their defense is bad too. Where's Kawhi Leonard? That is your assignment. And you just gave up an open three to one of the better three-point shooters in ball. I'm not going, again, I'm not complaining because we look good and we, oh, that's a good shot from Kawhi. There you go. We look good and we'll take that. Uh, but yeah, it ain't, it ain't look pretty for them at all. What if I told you Cat is losing his matchup to, uh, to Bagley right now? How, how would that make us feel about the future of this series? If Cat is getting dogged by Marvin Bagley on the glass. How, d does that, does that fare well for us in the long run? We got to go against Joel Embiid in this conference and eventually a Giannis in this conference and a lot of other very very good uh, bigger players how does that make us feel I'm tweaking I'm just doing stupid stuff how does that make us feel that Bagley right now has been their best player against one of our best players I just don't know how to I just don't know how to feel about it yet um there's a lot of time left in this game but it's, it's just not working out right now but Cat can do stuff like that Cat can do stuff like that and he'll just give us three back and now we don't even care about his defense no more we just don't care. That's 14 and 5. I don't know. Bagley has 12 and 7. So, I mean, they're both having good games. They're both having good games. But when you when you have a guy like Car Anthony's caliber Car Anthony Towns caliber, I'm not looking to have uh neutral that's so stupid of me. Neutral performances between him and a former top pick who's on his third team already. You know? But man, it's Anthony getting a lot of touches right now. He's not making of them. He's not making a lot of them. But he's there. He's he's definitely getting his attempts up, and I don't hate it. I don't hate it. See, look at Bagley. Look at Bagley, bro. Look at Bagley. What, cats? Box him out, please. I ain't asking for much. Just put a body on him. What are they doing? How is Cam open all the time? John and I just be exist. Why is is why is the Kawhi Leonard Marvin Bagley lob like the most effective play in all of ball? That's like just something I didn't expect from Kawhi Leonard to be the pinpoint passer on a lob. And I didn't expect this version of Marvin Bagley to be Zion on the on the break. It's kind of cool. I ain't going to lie. It's kind of cool. Can William go get that? Oh, it's a bad it's a bad lob. But guess what? He's still in the play. He's still in the play. We reset it. I'll give it out to Jet. Come set the screen because Jet's him. I'll go pass, Jet. Good pass. One hit across court. Je There's nothing Jet can't do. There's nothing Jet can't do. I I'm sorry. There's nothing he cannot do. He is he is obviously the greatest rookie. And if it wasn't for him be getting spot minutes, he would be the front runner of rookie of the year. Not that Victor Wimbit Yamo type. No, 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 no. Not him. It would be Jet. Uh, good shot. That's a very good pull up. Um, you probably got clickbaited because I think I'm tied in this video. has something to do with Kawhi Leonard. And he has been so non-existent. It don't even feel like he's on the roster. I can't even hold you. It don't feel like he's on the roster right now. For the for the clip for the clicks though, I already know this video gonna do good. Cause here you are, here you are. You already here. You got it. I got you. I got you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I I double tap B because I was bored because we're up by so many points. Um, and the man, the man. Oh, his last name is Man too. The man with a, with behind the whoop behind the hands to somebody four feet away from him. 
Um, slightly less impressive because of the distance between the two players, but still kind of cool. Still kind of cool. Ooh, Obi Top and wide open for three. That's a bang. I don't even know if they're shooting for three. I'm assuming that it's just not. They are uh, two for ten. Right, and we've hit 12. And that is one of the reasons why we're up by so many, but they have team take now. So I should probably lock in a little bit more. I can lock in a little bit more. Let's go ahead and uh, put this play in for Cam. Um, I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's an open three-pointer. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's an open three-pointer. Man, if y'all don't start getting over those screens with these shooters, bro. If y'all do not start getting over those screens. I mean, it's almost too late. It's the fourth quarter. And, oh, look at look at Jet with the steal. You know what? Give it up to, to our guy, T-Man. Let's go ahead and call a play for Jet. This is a different one, though. I ain't trying to work the same play over and over because that's kind of lame. This is a different one. Is the result going to be the same? Jet for three. It's absolutely going to be the same. This is a game where where um, Grady is going to play at, at least five minutes in that fourth quarter. You know, we are about so many. I, I want to have more garbage time, see a lot more Grady. I mean, Jed has solidified himself as a rotational player. Grady still got a little bit to work on. So we're going to give him minutes here and there. And hopefully his uh, offseason progression puts him to the point where he is more of a rotational piece. Here's Jed off a double. The screen did hit, but that's okay. Because cause I love to do that spin move, but I went the opposite direction. <laughs> but we got the foul, so that's all I care about. The foul doesn't matter if you uh, miss the free throws. And I miss both because that's that's what we do on this channel. Getting fouled is not this free thing that, that they try to make it out to be. The Jet is in that center, by the way. Um, Yeah, so we definitely got to mess around with the with the minutes and stuff. Because <laughs> Jet just ended that quarter as center. I ain't hate it. Small ball center, Jet Howard. Bang. Mikhail still has two points. And I'm, I'm, it's like the third, like legit, like the third video on the, oh my God, what the, the footwork from Jalen Bronson. That's real life, what footwork? He actually does stuff like that. Um, I'm starting to feel like we're losing Mikhail after all of these, tra he's got two points again. Like the last couple videos, he's just, he had 10, which is fine, I guess. But if you remember at the beginning of the se season, we were like, oh, we got to get him into the all-star game. He's definitely more relegated to to just playing a role. And now I'm, now we get to the point where I'll see that he has two points, so I start forcing up shots, and then ultimately it just hurts his field goal percentage and so on and so on. But, I mean, five points is not good. It's a blowout game, and he's not even going to play a lot of minutes. Th this unit is getting out of the game soonish. And we're going to run a lineup that has, like, Grady, I, I guess Chris Dunn, Justice Winslow, Winyan Gabriel, and... Jet Howard, yeah, that, we're going we gonna to run our young guys. Um, so when it's about four minutes left in the quarter, the young guys are going to play. Anthony, catch and shoot up. B eh, no. I mean, again, all of his shots so far have looked like that. He's 4 of 11, so it's not the greatest shooting night for him for sure. Um, but he's de he's definitely getting a lot of open looks, and I know those open looks are going to fall eventually. You know, first game jitters, yada, yada, you know. I think both players are going through a Kawhi Leonard and... Um, Anthony, but Anthony has had a better game objectively. I mean, he's just been better. The team also just doesn't attempt threes, and you're just not you're not gonna beat us without hitting threes. You're just not. We got too many shooters. One through five right now, I trust taking the three pointer. Now John Isaac kind of just be running around on baselines, but like, what, what's what's John Isaac's three pointer? Seventy six. That's slightly worse than uh, than Jet. I would take that shot with him. So you gotta guard us one through five uh, straight up from the three. Because if not, we are gonna make you pay. And look at that. You see what happens with Kawhi Leonard's not the one throwing the lob? You see what? Throw that pass. Oh, I saw it. See, they don't even take the open. Th Bro, Jalen Brunson just had the wide open three. Instead, they want to give a, a a post hook to, man, yeah. Yeah. What, what, what coach got? What is coach doing? What is Thibodeau doing over there? What type of offense these boys running? Because it's not good enough. All right, we got the bench unit slash young guys in. We give it up to Jack. That's the first call. He's being guarded by Kawhi Leonard. If you can get past Kawhi, you ready for the league. He can't do it yet. He he just he ain't yet. He ain't ready yet. Justice Winslow, who we just picked up. Oh my god, Kawhi's in help, which means Jet is open. Not this time, Jet. Not good look, good look, good look. This unit has a it's kind of cool, right? We got our two rookies. We got oh my god, what a trap. No! Bro, Kawhi's playmaking is crazy high. He don't lose that ball or travel or, or nothing. That's insane. Oh, good steal. What has Julius Randle done today? Hit that shot. That's it. That's my only memory of Julius Randle tonight. It's him hitting that wild, ridiculously ugly, ugly shot. All right, can we get something going, boys? It's been a few possessions we have. <laughs> we haven't really come close to scoring. Uh, it's a lot of commotion. Not the same spacing. Oh, Kawhi Leonard just ripped the rookie's pocket clean. You was just stat padded, bro. You're down by 15. 
Y'all not winning this game because all I got to do is is put, I don't know, who's who's been killing? Put Cat back in the game. Don't think y'all got a chance now just because y'all kept the starters in and we running the young dudes. Kawhi with another steal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These boys trying to come back and just standing dunk over my defender. 13-point game. Do I do I bench? Did I put the starters back in? Nah, they got to get to single digits before I start caring. Oh, coach did it. Oh, that's so lame. I ain't mad at you, though. That's... Look, Cat gonna get into the game immediately. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Guard Anthony Towns. Bagley, you might be having a good game, but you're not messing with Cat on the offensive side, bro. And I missed the free throw. I just bad. But that... No, that was... That was like me just doing stuff. Hitting a bunch of buttons at the same time and hoping that it worked. And it did. And that's a block from John Isaac. You see the skill gap between our st when our star unit is in versus y'all. You know, bring y'all bench in. Thib oh, it's a Thibodeau team. Right. They don't run They don't run the bench. It don't matter what the circumstances are. The bench not going to play to the last 30 seconds. It's just the way Thibodeau plays it. Sorry, Grady. I wanted to get you more minutes, but apparently... Oh, my God. Bagley. <laughs> Bro, Bagley might be a player we trade for future videos. Not in this series, but I just mean like on the other channel. Because if Bagley's playing like this regularly, yo, he might be a low-key cheat code. Because he's doing his thing out here. Mirror's jump shot. Why did he do all of that? Why did he do all of that? I just wanted to pull up. I also just realized they this coach decided not to close with Mikhail. <laughs> oh, my God. Mikhail Bridges is just sitting on the bench chilling with his, what, five points right now? Oh, man. Um, it is what it is, though. Bagley with the three. Bro, Bagley is killing. He's got 23. Bro, 23 and 8 minute quarters is like 30, 35 points, basically. Like, he's doing his thing right now. And I respect him. Um, unfortunately, he had no help. He was the least person I thought was going to go off and do anything. And here he is with the most amount of points for them. Like, for, for real, Julius Randle's just been out there. He's just been an extra body for them. Got what? I don't even know. I would say, if I had to take a guess, he has 8 points right now. If I had to take a guess. They kind of ruined my fun by not, not allowing me to run my young guys. This man, Tom Thibodeau, real life had his boys play. Look at Bagley, bro. Our, I guess our rebounding in general is pretty pretty bad now, huh? I expected Isaac to have more than three boards. Hopefully, it was just a weird game for him. They kind of, I think, on the offensive glass, I think they dominated. Which is saying something, because they, I mean, they lost by 11. It was worse than 11. Bagley had 12 boards, and five of them were offensive. We gave up six offensive boards. We got a total of three. So I guess it felt worse than what it was. Um, Randall had 13 points. Huh. I, dis I discredited him a little bit too much. Final stats had Bagley having 37 and 18, bro. That's the greatest stat line of his NBA career. We just let that happen, Cat. But then you had 36 and 13. You lost the matchup, technically. Technically. Now, you won the battle because Anthony Simons put in 22 and on 22 shots. Not the greatest percentages. But Cam had 18. Jed had 13 off the bench. Also not the greatest splits, but whatever. Mikhail ended up with 10 even. Um, yeah, we, we tried to run these dudes. They ended up being, what, a minus 12. <laughs> Cam was a plus 26 on the day. So when, when Cam and Terrence Mann went in the court, they were doing a thing. And then I find this to be kind of a consensus throughout the year where, like, Cam's existence doesn't do much. Like, he was perfect from the field, perfect from three. So he did his thing. But, like... It was never, it never, it feels like it never relates very well. I don't know how to explain what I'm thinking, but I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Next game we got against the Celtics, who are really good. One of the best teams of ball. I'm not playing this game. See, they heard me talk about Cam, and they're like, oh, maybe we should trade for him. No, he's not going anywhere. We do got a game against Boston that we lost by six, where Jalen Brown gave us 40. We got dominated on the glass. We gave up 14 offensive rebounds, and overall we lost the... Rebound battle by about 14. It's definitely something that I got to think about a little bit. Because, yeah, traditionally, a guy like Mikhail, what is he What is he averaging career-wise? So about four boards per. Cam is going to give you three boards. Cat should be, like, he should be giving us double-digit boards like he did back in his, you know, some of his uh, all-star years. And maybe it'll get there eventually. But we can't be losing on the glass. Um... Today is the last day before the trade deadline, and I honestly think I'm going to let it ride because we already did the bigger trades last episode if you missed that. Um, whatever. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in a few days. And, yeah, go Brooklyn.